the federal government suspended indefinitely the operation of Twitter in Nigeria. And the reason we gave was that this suspension is because Twitter had made its platform the platform of choice for people promoting activities to destabilize Nigeria. That despite persistent calls on Twitter, they refused and made their platforms, their platform available for separatist groups and people calling for the disembarment of Nigeria. We also note we, in the same press release, we also said henceforth, all OTT, that's over the top, you know, uh, and other social media platforms, must register first as Nigerian companies and be licensed by the Broadcasting Commission before they can carry on any business as social media platforms. This was informed by the fact that we realized that in many of the OTT social media platforms you know, operating in Nigeria today are not registered in Nigeria. They make billions of Nigeria, uh, sorry, billions of Naira out of our country. They pay no taxes. They, they employ nobody. So those, that is why we said that we are going to suspend one Twitter and at the same time that all other social media platforms that are not registered in Nigeria must register. I, I know it's true, sir, that um, uh, many Nigerians have accused the federal government of an attempt to stifle the media and free speech, and we say not at all. There is absolutely no intention on the part of government to stifle free speech or the media. Because as you see, as you, uh, as you will see, while it is true that section 39, sorry, section, yes, of, of, of the Constitution, section 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41 of this Constitution actually provides for freedom of speech, but it's actually qualified. But it's actually qualified by section 45 of the same constitution, which is to the fact that nothing in sections 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41 of the Constitution shall invalidate any law that is reasonably justifiable in a, democ in a democratic society. A, in the interest of defense, public safety, public order, public morality, public health, or the purpose of protecting the rights and freedom of other people. And uh, honorable members, like I said, the only reason why we suspended the operation of Twitter is because it was promoting disunity in Nigeria and it became a national security risk. Honorable members, as you can see, the above provisions of Section 45 of the Constitution leaves no one in doubt that the provisions of Section 39 of the Constitution on freedom of expression is not absolute. The right to free expression within the contemplation of Section 39 makes it a qualified right in light of the aforementioned Section 45, which permits restrictions of civil liberties in the public interest. And of further, honorable members, if you look at the circumstances of Section 3 of the National Security Act, which clothes the state security services with the powers to preserve the internal security of Nigerians, it's very instructive that anybody, any platform that threatens the internal security of Nigeria would not be allowed to operate. 
Yeah, uh, honorable members, uh, for clarity, uh, I'll just go straight to section three of the National Security Act, which says that the state security service shall be charged with responsibility for A, the prevention and detection within Nigeria of any crime against the internal security of Nigeria, B, the protection and preservation of all non-military classified matters concerning the internal security of Nigeria, and C, such other responsibilities affecting internal security within Nigeria as the National Assembly or the President, as the case may be, may deem necessary. And this is a case where the federal government deems it necessary that the activities of Twitter in Nigeria in particular is inimical to the growth, I mean, to, 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 to stability of the country. I remember, may I just remind you that during the unfortunate Ensas protest, the same Twitter played a very unsavory role by making available its platform to retweet, not just retweet the messages of the Ensas protesters, but raising funds for the Ensas protesters before it was hijacked by hoodlums. And Nigerians are forgotten that this particular Ensas, you know, uh, you know, a protest led to the death of 57 civilians, 37 policemen, six soldiers. We had about 243 public properties destroyed. 200 brand new buses belong to Lagos State Government for the people of Lagos State were raised to the ground. 83 warehouses were vandalized. And yet, Jack Dorsey crowdfunded the activities of the answer. That's why we believe at Twitter, mission in Nigeria is suspect. Now, honorable members, uh, the rise to freedom of expression on the Twitter platform is further qualified by Section 45 of the Constitution in light of the provisions of Section 5, 1, and 2 of the Terrorism Act of 2011, which states that any person who knowingly, in any manner, directly or indirectly, solicits or render support, A, for the commission of an act of terrorism, or B, to a terrorist group commits an offense under this act. And honorable members, we all know that IPOP is proscribed by the High Court law in Nigeria, and yet it is the platform of choice through which IPOP directs its people to kill soldiers, to kill policemen, to burn correctional centers. And this is why we are Twitter's oppression in Nigeria is inimical to our growth. So both in law, common law, and national security, we had to suspend the operations. Mr. Chairman, I, I'll just, I will end up by saying that even the position of the uh, company's Allied Matters Act is also, also supports our suspension of Twitter operation in Nigeria. Because the primary law governing the businesses in Nigeria is the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020. As it regards, and that regard, they say that as it regards the operation of a foreign company in Nigeria, the law provides that a foreign company which fails to take necessary steps to obtain the corporation as a separate entity in Nigeria for that purpose, but until so incorporated, the foreign company shall not carry on business in Nigeria or exercise any powers of a registered company. That's a section 78.1 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020. Hence, flowing from the above, the, the, the above, a foreign company like Twitter cannot be clothed with the legitimate rights to operate as a company registered in Nigeria as they are not licensed, you know, to, to so do. And I would, I, I, yeah, honorable members, we talk about personal liberty. Uh, a strike law, honorable members, that personal liberty can be suspended when the interest rights of the majority is at stake. And here we're talking about the rights, the security and safety of the whole of Nigeria. And this is why we survey Twitter. So both in law, in practice, in common sense, I believe that we are within the law to suspend 
you know, uh, you know, uh, Twitter. Uh, and our position, Honourable Member, is also backed by the uh, uh, by, by, by the Cyber Space Act. Uh, and uh, I, I would draw the attention of the Honourable Members to Articles 24, 25, and 26 of African Union on Cyber Security and Personal Data Protection. Article 19, 2, and 3 of the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights, ICCPR, and sections 1, 2, 3, and 4 of the Cyber Crimes Prohibition, Prohibition Act. This empowers the federal government of Nigeria to regulate and promote the security of the Nigerian cyberspace, including, but not limited to the cyber environment and organization and users' assets. Organization and users' assets include connected computing devices, personnel, infrastructure, application services, telecommunication systems, and the totality, the totality of transmitted and or stored information within the Nigerian cyberspace environment, including social media such as Twitter, Facebook, etc., applications, internet platforms, and cloud computing platforms. Furthermore, honorable members, the federal government of Nigeria is empowered to take all necessary measures, give all necessary orders, designating any computer system, network, or application as forming part of our national infrastructure and take all necessary steps, including suspension of Twitter or any other social media to protect Nigeria's critical infrastructure from a cyber threat or attack. Only from the above, honorable members, the federal government of Nigeria is also empowered to take all reasonable steps to defend its cyber, its cyber space where it perceives or finds that a cyber crime is threatened to be committed, has been committed or is being committed and through a cyber space. For instance, where a seditious act has been committed against the federal government through the cyber space, see section 512 of the criminal code, which punishes the crime, uh, the crime of sedition. In circumstances, the decision of the federal government I want to submit to suspend the activities of Twitter for being a national security threat is well-funded in law in light of the fact that the platform affords IPOB, an organization already prescribed by the Federal High Court to champion its seditious and terrorist-based activities. This are my submission, honorable members. Thank you very much, sir.